Weight and balance test question. Refer to figure 32 and 33. Determine if the airplane weight and balance is within limits. They give us the weight of the front and rear seat occupants, the weight of baggage, and the fuel quantity in both the main tank tanks and the aux tanks. Uh, what they don't give you in the question, but what you can find on the figure, is the airplane empty weight in the moment. And that is right here. I'm going to create a table to organize everything. So we have... Airplane empty weight, weight, arm, moment. That's 2,015 pounds. And the moment, 1,554. Now notice the moment is in 100. So we are going to add a couple zeros to the end and change it to 155,400. We have front seat, rear, we have main tank, ox tank, and baggage. Front seat, 415, rear seat, 110 pounds. Main tank, we have 44 gallons. If you take 44, multiply it by 6 pounds per gallon, that give you the weight of 264 pounds. Ox tank, they tell us we have 19 gallons. 19 multiplied by 6 pounds every gallon. That's a weight of 114 pounds. Baggage, they give us 32. And then we'll get a total. To determine the moment for each station, take the weight, multiply by the arm to give you a moment. In the front seat, we have 415 pounds. If you go to occupants on the table, front seat, I do not see 415 pounds, but we'll use the arm of 85 to get the moment. So 415 multiplied by 85 inches gives us a moment of 35,000 275 inch pounds or pound inches rear seat we have 110 pounds here's the rear on the table i don't see 110 so we'll do the same thing we'll take the weight of 110 multiply by the arm of 121 inches to give us a moment of 13,310 fuel tank main tank we have 264 pounds if we go to fuel main tank here's our 44 gallons 264 pounds and you can see the moment in hundreds but you can also get the moment by taking the weight multiplied by the arm of 75 inches and we get 19,800 and that's where the 198 is coming from Auxiliary fuel tank, 114 pounds. And here's ox tank. Here's the arm of 94. Multiply those together. You get 10,716. Baggage, 32 pounds. Here's where we find baggage on the table. They don't have 32, so we'll multiply by the arm of 140. And that gives you a moment of 4,000. 480. The next step would be to total the moment and total the weight. And if you do that, you should get a total weight of 2,950 and a moment of 238,981. To determine if you're within limits, you'll find your weight of 2,950 listed in this table on the right. So we're looking at weight. And there it is at the very bottom right, 2950. And what we need to determine is, is our moment, which keep in mind the table is in hundreds. So I'm going to put a decimal point here. Is our moment for our given weight between the minimum and the maximum? The minimum is the forward limit. The max is the aft center gravity limit. And 
it looks like our 23.89 is below the minimum of 24.22. So we are forward of the forward limit. Alternatively, we can determine in inches whether or not we are within limits. If you take your total moment and divide it by your total weight, that gives you your center of gravity position. So we had a total moment of 230,981. We'll divide that by our total weight of 2,000. 950 and that should give you approximately 81 inches so our cg is positioned at 81 which is below it's forward of the forward limit right here on the table so we are within weight limits but the center of gravity is too far forward cg is out of limits so answer bravo is the correct answer